Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, the Spaced Out DLC. My name is Twitch here, we're on the LV426, looking after seven duplicates in the entire cluster here. We have been making our way into the future wonderfully well, and last time we managed to get ourselves a telescope up and running and discovered a brand new planetoid. The problem is, the problem is, I, this is kind of a bit of a spanner in the works for me. I was trying to send the the, uh, the rocket over to Ternano here. Uh, we, we, we've got a man, we've got, we've got our boy. Honza over here. Where, 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 where have you gone? He, he's not. He's on his own. He's making this entire entire asteroid run on his own, and he's got too many jobs to be taken care of. So we've built ourselves a rocket platform. We made it uh, made it a high high priority for him to go and take care of. Thankfully, he managed to do it without starving himself. And this means that over on Yakil, our main uh, this is the swamp asteroid that we started with, we have a rocket that needs to be uh, equipped here. If I come over to uh, change. Crew. I'm going to put random randomers in here. He has some skills in these uh, areas, I, be I believe. Oh, we we've, we've scrubbed him recently, so maybe he doesn't. Mm, he doesn't. He can he can kind of absorb the the morale, but we we we, we have some problems with uh, with some other guys like Hicks here. Uh, he uh, he's doing much better now. He used to be flatlining like uh, exactly equal uh, needs as once, uh, and it was causing him to have some uh, mental issues. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Bam! All right, we we've, we've gone ahead and we have done it. Hopefully, we can just keep his uh, life quite nice. Uh, I kind of wanted to read that. I don't know why I cleared that out like that. Uh, let, let's try and find a random random. Uh, hey, I think I'll just leave you to it, actually. Okay, next day we have Random Randomers. He's woken up next to Hicks. We've been trying to make this area quite nice for them here. They're both the ones that are suffering with a little bit of morale issues, so hopefully that's going to work out. And hopefully the next thing that is going to work out is the, his new uh, skill. This is the, the rocketeering skill. Uh, now he's going to go grab some food and stuff, but let's come over to the rocket. I can either come up and press uh, the, the view interior over here. Let me just double check. Yeah, Random Randomers is on that. Cool. Uh, or I can click this little tab over here. I like that. I like that. I've been trying to set up a few things that I think I need here. Uh, we've got some power. We've got a battery. We need somewhere to sleep. I think I'm also, uh, if I've got another airflow tile, oxygen. We're going to put an oxygen diffuser there. I'm not sure how I'm going to get some algae in here for two reasons. One, I'm not sure how I'm physically going to get it into this space. I, I, I think I'm going to have to put down a storage chamber, like maybe not build this battery, put the, or maybe knock down the, bat, the ladders, put down a, bat, uh, a storage thing, put everything I need in there, break that, and then just have the stuff on the floor. I, d I don't know, something like that. But the second one, the second reason that I'm not sure how I'm going to get it into here is if I can come over to the see all resources. Uh, you know what? Let's just uh, we've got we've got no algae right here, but we do have 93 tons somewhere, and that somewhere is of course over with Hans. Um, wait, no, it's changed. Why? Does that mean I've got 93 tons on your kill somewhere that I just don't have access to? I'm going to take that to mean yes, which means I could go looking for it, but what I was going to... Look, there it is. There it is. Look, look, look at that. Okay. Uh... Ooh, okay, that's kind of changed my plan. I, I was about to be like, hey, uh, uh, Honza, could you send some through here? But uh, but no, let's let's just go looking for it. I mean, this one this one's a bit this one's a bit dangerous. It's got all sorts of like polluted oxygen and chlorine and stuff around it. But maybe if we come up this way, then we've got access to the neural vacuolator as well. I mean, it's not going to be hard to get this. Should we, should, should we just put a knock gate here <laughs> and then and then that'll open the door for it? I think. I think I'm gonna deconstruct that one. <laughs> Hicks, where are you? Go are you are you going into the Helios? I didn't I didn't think you were able to do so uh, unless you were crew. Okay, I, today I learned. Today I learned. I really thought that they needed to be on the crew to be able to to go in here. All right, Hicks, you, you're popping in. You pop pop pop. There he is. All right, cool. So we built the ladder. I mean, that's a little inconvenient, but I suppose the the building needs to happen for the algae, obviously. Oh, you know you know what I could do. I'm not I'm not sure whether this is a winner or not. Conveyor receptacle is that a thing like conveyor loader which one enables me to put stuff into it go with a conveyor loader this is just going to be for storage can i do that Let, yeah let's just do it let's just do it <laughs> oh i don't know if anyone's got the mechatronics skill ah oh, ah oh, no 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 ah oh, ah oh, ah oh. <laughs> no it's all the way down here no i don't think anybody's got it well hey there bishop looks like you totally can just go ahead and do that all right that's that's beautiful that is beautiful wait we need we need to go we need to give him a better hat this is a terrible point of view to see this in excuse me guys 
This is uh, actually quite a monumental day. Getting your first mechatronics engineer into Ellie Colony is your first step onto fully like automizing and being sustainable. Uh, the, 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 having the ability to move your solid items around is, uh, it, it just can't be understated. It really cannot be understated, though I seem to be doing quite a good job of it. Okay, Hicks doing his work over here. Of course, climbing over the sand piles to make himself uh, awkward. Eggshells, uh, traps was the word I was going for there, but Hey, awkward, why not? What gases are flowing out of here? We've got some polluted oxygen, we've got some regular oxygen. We're going to be letting all this hydrogen up there. Hydrogen is the bane of my life in this game, I, I, I tell you, I tell you. It's because I do silly things like this and trap it in places. Was this was this a temperature thing? It was a temperature thing, okay, fair enough. Not doing a great job of keeping the temperature at bay here. I suppose we could pump some more temperatures about. I mean, like, look look how hot this is. In fact, that's getting too hot. Yeah, let's do let's do that here. I think I'm going to try and keep the water warm rather than trying to keep the whole area warm. Because the water will keep the whole area warm anyway, right? Right? Backing me up on that? Oh, I'm missing some stuff here. I'm missing some stuff here. Let's just grab a wire, pull this up. We're also going to go to furniture, uh, put a ceiling light in place. And I think I also want to go ahead and put some tiles across like this. I, I know that we've got some weird double double heighting going on, but I'm all right with that. Okay, nighttime just got cooled, but we're up and into this section here, so I can just slam it. No, don't do it out of copper, do it out of iron, thank you very much. Slam down one of those there. Oh, I did actually have a bit of copper right there. Nay bother though. Uh, and I just want to kind of carry on up with this ladder. I'm going to have to do it on this side now, but we're, we're making our way up. We, we are going to release our first bit of chlorine into the base. I'm a little bit... Ooh, the liquid chlorine. Uh, I'm a little bit sad about this. It's a kilo in each tile. It would be really good to just kind of get that out, but let's see where it's going to end up. It's going to come down here. It's probably going to get caught a little bit in here. Maybe a little bit is going to get caught there, but it's mostly going to end up down the bottom. I, I think we can live with that. I think we can. I find it a little funny that it keeps telling me duplicate op uh, operation required here. Like, it, it's, on, it's on a map where there is some but it's not. I don't appear to have a mesh tile. This must be an oversight. Where where, where are mesh tiles on the list here? Maybe random randomers. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, there is, there is, there is a little something that I've been not ignoring, but purposefully kind of keeping back. Maybe it's time we, we address that. Not straight away, but it is time we address that. It needs the chlorine. So it's a good, good job that we're going in there. It's already loose. It's already traveling. Oh, that was quick. Research complete straight away. All right, that, that that really was fast. Okay, cool. Somewhere in the base, I want to put this here. So then I can then start building a little bit of a power network here. This is not a permanent fixture. I just, I really need to get some water into these pipes here. And the only way you can do that is, of course, with a pump. Oh, I have just noticed cycle 200. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I'm, I'm not sure how long this map is actually going to last because obviously the uh, Spaced Out DLC is currently in a development cycle. So uh, there's already some things I think that I don't have access to because I'm on a in air commas, uh old map. Uh, so I'd like, I'd, I don't know, I'm not sure how long, the, uh, once I feel like we've got to the extent of everything that this map can do, may, maybe we'll uh, try it, because there's, a, there's another another type of cluster, we're currently on like the marshy cluster, and there's also like a, ter a Terran cluster, so uh, may maybe we'll give that a go at some point. Did any of the, uh, the chlorine make its way down here? Not yet, that's a lot of polluted oxygen. I'm gonna take a moment and just go around with some of these deodorizers. Anywhere that I see a spare power hookup going, I will uh, make it so. I might actually have to make a spare power hookup going in some places. <laughs> Picked up quite. Oh, no, not a fossil. No, no, no. I wanna keep the fossil. Stop. I want to keep the fossil. I was about to say, I've picked up a fair bit of eggshell. 114 kilos. I clicked the fossil by, by accident there. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We should be able to make ourselves a fair bit of lime. All in preparation for our steel production, of course. I'm halfway tempted just to keep warming this water up here. Uh, but then we'll end up flashing stuff to steam. That, that won't be great. <laughs> Just having a quick check-in with Honza. I've noticed he also doesn't have a light here, so I've asked him to uh, build one of those. Of course, the uh, the farming always takes a priority. Build wire? Ah, oh, I've upped the priority of this as well. No, that's only a seven. It must be these wires down here then. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I just don't don't want him to ignore the food at any point. Obviously, uh, with, without food, he will starve, and then when he starves, he will die, and that's... That's not what I want. We're going to try and make it through this map without losing any duplicates this time. Uh, we, we normally lose one or two, but we'll, we'll try. We'll try. 
Okay, that was pretty good. This should mean that all the generator tasks are quicker this time. I, I still not done any comparative tests. I should probably go around and do that at some point. Okay, the battery's been put in place inside the rocket. We've got a uh, an airflow tile. Has some wiring also been done? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's not necessary there. Okay, let's get rid of that. I've got a couple of dead dead spaces. Like, this is movement space. I get that. But, like, this one here and this one here, I can't help but feel like they could be used for something. Um, I can't deconstruct the wall. That's a, that's a bit of a shame. It would have been nice to take these corners off. Because, look, there's a tile there. Like, that, that that's, that's sealed, right? <laughs> So if we could get rid of that, we could move the whole ladder back one. Mm. Oh, hey, random, how are you doing? Well, welcome to the rocket. You've just showed up to show how how amazing you are at building, right? Good, good work, my friend. Good work. Oh, and we've been joined by is that Hicks or Bishop? It's Hicks. All right. Cool. Oh, it's a vacuum in here. It's a vacuum. Good, good job. Good job. We're building an oxygen diffuser, right? Not doing so well. At actually, going for the algae though. Oh, it's gonna expose some bleach though. We should probably like seal up after us. Yeah, I'm even tempted to put like a chlorine lock in, do, do an up and a down. So we have encountered a problem. Bishop here, I mean, he is our only mechatronics engineer and we have a building over here, a conveyor loader that needs a mechatronics engineer. The delivery of iron has been made and if we go and have a look, 219th place on Bishop's list. It's not acceptable. Let's have a look at the priority. In fact, let's go, let's go find Bishop. Also, watch this. That's rubbish, right? That is, that's just terribly, terribly rubbish. I was kind of hoping that it would take me back to the main map, uh, the map that it's located on, and then take me to Bishop, but but no. Oh, oh he's off, he's off. What's, what's he gonna go do? 289th is not... Are you, are you messing with us? Are you messing with us? No, he's going in. Okay, let's go and see what he's doing. Oh, he's going to make power. Okay. Well, whilst he's here, priorities, Bishop, building, super high. Let's see if he can do that. Yeah, build conveyor loader. There it is. Beautiful. He needs to go recover breath. Oh no. Oh no. How far has he had to go? He, he's had to run away quite far, but out here by the looks of it. And now he's on his way back. Okay. Did you see that line coming in from over that way? Okay, cool. That's. Oh, and down time. Down time. Down time. Oh! <laughs> now he doesn't get the proximity bonus. He might go off and try and build something else that's closer. Oh man, this this is could be pro problems. This could be problems. Can it sound unreachable? Why can't they reach that? I've seen them walking across the top here. Why can't they get down? Hmm. It's not too far. It's really not too far. Quick check in with Honza while he's asleep. Uh, the sea of carbon dioxide's not gone anywhere, but uh, it, it's doing pretty well. We're gonna have some issues when we move randoms over, because where's he gonna sleep? Like in this, maybe? Maybe. I see why it's unreachable. These ladders need to be built. Okay, yeah, 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 because of the mesh tile. Oh, oh, look who I've just spotted going in here. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, beautiful. Now we find out whether this was the right one I wanted or not. Oh, does it need power? Does it need power? I go. We're going to go allow ma manual use. I'm going to go organic. I'm going to ask for algae, which we still don't have any. Hmm. What's going on over here? Hey, this. <coughs> yep. <laughs> Much better, thank you. Okay, this is somewhat of a gas lock. As I say, we're going to lose this chlorine, but we've already we, we've already got some chlorine out and in the base, so we're going to have to try and deal with that. Look, there it's going, it's going. Is it is it into this area yet? There, there's a bit there. Is it sit, sat on top of the carbon dioxide? It is. Why is this not got gas pipe blocked? Oh no, oh no. How has this got into here? Oh no. Okay, we're going to have to put a filter in. I think we first might need to just vent this out. Oh man. Don't know why I wasn't prepared for this. Of course this was gonna happen at some point. Thankfully we have a handy power network already set up. Okay, for now I'm just gonna vent the contents of this pipe out to the the void here. It's not it's not the void, but it's close enough. Oh, we've got a we got a problem here. It got it got too hot. Ah, because there's no Oh, there's because it's a vacuum, there's nowhere for the heat that the battery produces to go. Mm -hmm. Awkward. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rip that one down for now until we get some actual algae in here. Okay, only selecting for carbon dioxide. Horrifically hacky hack. That uh, is a hack. Well done. <laughs> I still don't know why we're getting polluted oxygen. Like this, this gas element sensor here should have made that impossible. 
I'm fully expecting car uh, chlorine to get in there now, but look, we're only we're only picking up there. The polluted oxygen sits on top of the carbon dioxide. I think mean, I probably could have got up one more, but I don't like it. Oh, this 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 is terrible. There's no there's no battery to pick up the charge random. What 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 are you doing? Okay, let's drop this down to priority one and then just tell him to move until someone delivers some algae here, which unfortunately we're still waiting, still waiting for this to be done. But of course we know how to move this along. Uh, Hicks was on it anyway. Okay, so we've got a gas lock in place. I mean, like, ish. I don't think it's going to be that good. The hydrogen up here is definitely going to help immensely. But we've got some algae on the floor. And I did see someone pick up algae and carry uh, carry away with it. But I think they I think they got stopped somewhere. And that night time happened. So some, something happened to interrupt them. So we're still struggling on trying to get some, some algae just, just in here. Just somewhere in here. But it says that nobody is doing any errands. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and do this one as well. Still no errands. As we've got the storage bin here, let's try this as well. Or well, whilst we've got the space, let's put a storage bin in and try that as well, sorry. How has the building been disabled? I'm not sure what happened there. It must have happened somewhere in the past. I've, I've re-enabled it. I'm sure I'm sure it's my incompetence that, that disabled it rather than it being a reason to keep the, the rocket in place. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, Hicks has done us the honor here. Let's go to organic algae. Yeah, suddenly everybody wants to do it. All right, let's let's get this turning over quick then. Okay, here comes the ran. Oh no no no, he's 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 going to pick some up. Okay, well everybody else is going to bring some algae along. Thank you, Jonesy. Right, we got we got some algae in there. So who's going to do the errands here then? That's a question. Is it because it's unpowered? That that's a bit awkward. Okay, let's let's deconstruct. Random random is doing the honor there as well. There's algae on the floor. Why don't they want to put it there? Okay, now let's put a battery in place. And hopefully we can get some usable power out of it. Maybe. Okay, Hicks building the battery. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn the priority on the, the wheel up. All right, cool. That will probably do. Now, now this is like super high priority. Yeah, people are coming along. I just want to know like what temperature this is going to get up to before it like seriously causes an issue to itself. It's it's practically already there. Oh man, why why are they dragging materials from all the way over here? Ah, uh, there's like algae inside. Not impressed by downtime. Battery is fast gaining heat. Pause time. It says these two are on it. I I kind of doubt. Oh look, he's just outside. In they go, in they go, check in here, this being made, is that, is that a thing? Alright, we've got some atmosphere, finally, is this still like super overheating? No, it's going down in temperature, beautiful. Right, we'll turn the panic off, <laughs> and, and that should be it, let's deconstruct that, there's no need to have that there anymore. Right, well I see no reason why not to uh, to give this a go, let's come out to your kill, uh, so, someone, someone else was trying to to uh, sneak in there. We're gonna go over here to Tanano. Gonna go see who, who who's this sending off? Who was inside? I mean, it says random, random. Let's, let's view the interior. It is indeed random. Oh, I was really worried there that it wasn't for a moment. Let's watch this first rocket take off. Uh, I want to also look. Yeah, look, look, look. We're spewing out a bunch of carbon dioxide. I wonder whether we can capture and contain. That's a question. That's a question. He's gone outside. Why? Missing crew. Ah, oh, there was a launch button. That's why. What? Where, where, where are you? Dude. Okay, I need to put it on auto. All duplicates may enter and exit the module freely until the rocket is ready for launch. Before the launch, the crew will be automatically requested. That one. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so did you did you watch my random randomers change there? I, I, I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. This is the first time I've, I've done it. I, I wasn't expecting this uh, problem. Food reserve. Stop, stop. Abort launch. Abort launch. We, we need food. Do we know? It's only a cycle. It's only... No, we need food. We need food. Oh, he's got a lot. He's got two cycles worth of food. And we can send send food through. Randoms, my friend. 
I'm sorry. A waiting pilot. It should be fine. All right, off he goes, off he goes. Look at the carbon dioxide. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oof, just, just like that. And, it, and he's away. He's away. He's already off. Flight 0.6 tiles. Beautiful. Oh, that, that, that's so cool. That is so cool. All right, well, is this set and ready to catch him? I assume so. All right, let's go over to your kill and uh, throw, throw some food. Look, 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 we've frozen carbon dioxide here. That's beautiful. Oh, that actual frozen carbon dioxide. If we ever need to build an atmosphere, we just drag this somewhere, right? Anyway, we, we really do now need to do the food thing. Uh, Swampy Delight sounds pretty good. Let's go seven. Is that anyone on it? Ash. Random random is his idol. Ooh, look at the background. Oh, that's cool. Uh, he's currently idle. Um, I should have given him something else to do, shouldn't I? Uh, what, what could we have given him? What could we even have given him? Also, we've got a, an achievement. What is this? What is it? What is it? Uh, space race. Launch your first rocket into space. Boom. Nailed it. All right, cool. Actually, I, I've done I've done my done my stated objective early in the... What? This is very unlike me. Okay, the cooling loop is actually being set up as well. The warming loop? No, it's the cooling loop. We're trying to cool down this area over here. This electric grill is definitely getting warm. 37 degrees is definitely on the uh, the higher end of what these guys like. I don't know if we actually get... Oh, no, I've got the wrong, the wrong guy. Jonesy, do, do you tell me what temperature you prefer? Doesn't really say. Doesn't really say. Okay, off it goes. It leaves the pipe at about 17 degrees, comes through at 16. Wait, sorry, what? Okay, we're going through at 18 now. Okay, let's check check down here. We're going through at 18 and we're leaving at 18.4. We could probably do with some more of that, right? Yeah, let's let's try and do that. Going at 17.6, leaving at 18. So we're we're losing 0.4 of a or gaining 0.4 of a degree in the water, losing 0.4. I don't know if we can do the direct conversion like that because obviously the the air contains less heat than the water can take. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. For instance, the uh, the water specific heat capacity is. Uh, 4.179 whereas the airs is currently one we we'll call it one look at look at all those zeros can every bit of bad decor be challenged by a flower pot i, I think so i think so stop eight sorry, sorry what random random oh guess what i forgot to include <laughs> let's just uh let's just pick all that up shall we whoops <laughs> Oh, star map. Are we back? Are we back? Tyranno, why are you just sat inside? Oh man, let everybody out. That's not how it works. Can I be like, let's see what round, like, can we, can we move you? Move to, and then click on your camera and be like, hey, can you move? Why can't you move out here? What? The <gasps> I see what I've done wrong. Oh no, like, like this? Is that what we need? Oh no. Go, Honza, go. It's all down to you. Oh. R random's also on it. Can, can he escape from that? Doesn't look like he can. Oh, yeah, that, there we go. He's away. He's away. All right, let's put this down to nines. Oh, it's not a nine. Oh, there he is. Where are you going? Wait, are you, are you going back home for bed? Mm, I'm not sure that I'm all about that. What's, what's the gas balance right now? Awkward. Well, anyway, on Tirano now, we have, we've got a second pair of hands, and Random Randomers is a skilled digger. If we come and have a look at his profile over here, he can dig all the way up to Abyssalite. That's beautiful. He still can't do uh, Diamond or Obsidian, but, like, look look how much that would knock his morale down. Also, we need to make, need to make the place nicer, like a lot nicer. But that that's kind of what he's here for, right? That's kind of what he's here for. So why, why have you gone and grabbed a bunch of granite and then let's go inside? Hmm. I wonder if we can offload this polluted water somewhere. It'd be really nice to pick up the carbon dioxide as well. I'm not sure how. Okay, the first thing Random Randomers does is go and make power. That, that's pretty good. This has left Honza open to go do some building. Not the way around I envisaged it, but yeah, cool. 51,000 calorie. Yeah, we've had a swampy delight stuff drop off. Beautiful. Look at that. Look, stone hatch. I've never had one of these, but literally never. All right, this is cool. This is cool. What does he do? He, he eats a bunch of stone and he, he poops out coal. That's cool. What's the conversion rate, though, you know? 140 kilos of uh, pretty much anything per cycle for 50% of the mass. Uh, this is what I kind of prefer. Let's come over to, to Yakil, the, uh, the sage hatch, because it can eat, like, a whole bunch of everything. And coal... 100% of consumed mass. That's why you need a strong dirt economy. Look, even Hansa's now getting around to removing some of the uh, some of the glass. Does this mean oh, we can? We can put down 
another solar panel, which obviously wants to go here. Obviously. Can we run heavy what wire past that? We can. All right, beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, actually working on airflow as well. Wow. <laughs> It's amazing, like, literally, this second pair of hands has doubled the amount of work they can do. That is huge. So we have a ton of algae in here. I wonder what that actually equates to, and at what point we end up with... How did, how did the chlorine get in? Oh, no, it's polluted oxygen. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I understand how that got in here. But yeah, at what point does the carbon dioxide start causing big problems? Like, big problems. And how to be rid of it. Randomers volunteering to go outside and work in the vacuum. Very brave of him. It's actually pure vacuum as well. Look, we got a little bit of gas down here, but uh, mostly, mostly no. Entombed? Entombed? Random. How did you even? How did you even? O open the door, please. Can you do that? Can Can anybody? <laughs> Honda, un unable to believe his eyes. There we go. Brilliant. We'll just, we'll, we'll, no, we're not going to leave that one open. It's kind of core to the, uh, to the vacuum defense, but still. See, look, look at all these gases just rushing out there now. Though it is cleaning the air. Like, this, this is cleaning the air, and then all the bad air is being flushed out. Net, making more good oxygen. Yeah, I kind of like that. You know what? I agree. This entire branch is one block too high. Yeah, I very, I very, very much agree. Let, let, let's do the change now before it becomes too awkward. Okay, the day is going well for these guys. Let's go over to your kill and make sure no one's having a bad time over here. Uh, there was a few things I wanted to check. Like, what is the temperature over here? Look, look at that. Beautiful. We are sharing out temperatures nice and evenly. It's quite warm over here, but I think we can deal with that. Is that hot chlorine? Hmm, okay, cool. Yeah, no, no one having a spectacularly bad time over here. That's, that's good. That's good. Decided that just a little bit too much food is being sent across. I've turned down the uh, the the priority by one, but as you can see, we're now up to 54,000 calories of swampy delights. That's about 25 days worth for these guys. The, the food's gonna rot, rot before that. The food's gonna rot. We could we could do some tricksy things and put it in some chlorine and stuff like that, but we're making more food all the time. I once had one person being like, "Oh, you haven't got millions of food. You're obviously not the genius I'm looking for." I'm like, "Why would I just want to keep building up that number? It's it's a, it's a process. Everything can only runs out." Let it run out. Accept it. Embrace it. Entropy. You can't. You can't. You can't be entropy. I wonder how many people when I said that went, "Ah, oh, well, in an auction not included, I can make fully sustainable bases, not knowing that your hard drives would decay." Entropy. You can't beat it. <laughs> well, the solar panels in place, even if the infrastructure to support it isn't really up to scratch. I've got to say, despite random randomers having like such a higher need for morale than actually having morale. A very, very low stra- oh no, 57. Wait, what was going on over here? Ah, oh, it's because he'd gone into the space thing. Okay, so over here it had showed a zero. Well, it was actually on five, which must be what Honza's at. Because, ah, uh, Randomus was inside the, the rocket, so he didn't count. Mm, okay, so anyway, we're 57%. Okay, we, we, we do need to worry about it. It is a problem. I mean, it was kind of obvious, right? Hicks is skull. Hey, Hicks, what you do? Oh, okay, you're digging this area out. Yeah, I, I get it. All right, fair enough. May maybe, maybe we'll stop. Do you reckon we can come down this side instead? Maybe. All right, he's fine now. Let's go back. Okay, we need to start making this place nicer. The max stress is, is really starting to pile up here. Let's uh, also get rid of those. Uh, this this needs to go up. That, that, that's super priority. Hans, can you, can you come do this? Are you going to ranch first? Okay, fair enough. Okay, sandstone flower pot should make the place a little bit nicer. Trying to upgrade the food that Random's eating is, would also be pretty good. Briar seed, is that good? Does it improve decor? Yeah, that'll do. All the stress is going up all the time. We may have to scrub him again. Uh, let, let's have a look at his skills and see what we'd be happy getting rid of. Not a great deal. Not a great deal. <laughs> We're out of sedimentary rock. No, uh, I mean, we could start feeding them granite. A mafic rock? A math mafic rock's almost infinite, right? Igneous rock practically is, because we can turn lava into igneous rock, but we're not there yet. That's the problem. I don't know what to feed them. Ah. Let's go with the igneous. Go on. Let's do it. Let's stop random random as eating the meal lice. That might be a good start for uh, buffing up his morale. A good bed would probably be another one. 
Right, let's destroy this rations box. It's got nothing in it. And we can make randomers another nice bed next to Honza. It's in a bedroom, I believe. Yes, yes, it is. So we can get a bonus from that. He's eating some of the nicer food. So that's also a morale bonus. Hopefully we can stop this uptick here. It's a bit it's a bit hard to tell on the graph. Didn't want to put that in the way. It's a bit hard to tell on the graph what's going on here. I wish we could just kind of like click it and, and let us know, but no. Oh no, it just went up one. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna get sandstone from that. Can we make the cot out of sandstone? I sure do. Hope so. Sandstone, there we go. Beautiful. Pop that down there. I'd really like to get rid of this water, but it turns out we don't have anywhere to dump water. I really think we could change that though. Will that work? enough room there we'll try it okay nice bed as well let's assign that to him okay hopefully that's going to be a better better night's sleep what, what morale bonus we get that's another plus one so i think we're giving him an extra plus two in total i still think he's a bit short of that though or i mean that's yeah yeah morale 10 needed nine that that that'll be good maybe that's maybe that's enough bonuses I mean, he doesn't look happy, though. He doesn't look happy. Stress is going down, though. Stress. High morale. Soggy feet. Mm, pleasant chit-chat. Where does the soggy feet happen? Here. Not a fan. Not a fan. With the addition of random randomers to Torano here, we've managed to get the old whole power system up and running. Even hooked up a transformer to power up this system over here, meaning that no longer do we have to wait duplicate time working on the hamster wheels. I'm going to leave these guys in between episodes going through and fixing up the ranch. We just need to move it down one. It's, it's really going to be easy. Look, look, I just need to deconstruct those, move these down. It'll be great. Over on your kill, we have managed to make up a self-sustaining colony. I have literally not looked over here in like five or six sites cause it's not a bit of a problem at all next time i will be trying to sort out their outhouses because over here over here the cool guy uh, cool slush geyser only has five days left of producing water at which point we really need to be having more water so i'm going to be using the chlorine up the top here to process the water that comes out of our toilet so we can turn that into fresh drinking water but i'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye